right? So I guess the number of attendees uh, is enough already. Let's have our opening prayer. Insay na kasayin to give the opening prayer for today. Right, uh, Miss Lewis, kindly uh, lead the prayer. Those who are Catholic, please do the sign of the cross in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Lord, we offer to you our class today. We pray that through your divine guidance, we would learn how to listen attentively to Sir JC. May we appreciate his effort in imparting his knowledge to us. And please guide us throughout this whole day. Thank you. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. All right, thank you so much, Ms. Lewis, in uh, giving the opening prayer. Let's continue with the corrections. We ended uh, yesterday with a group of uh, Ms. Lakayana. Now we'll continue with uh, the uh, corrections for the performance task. Now we'll start with... Uh, the group of Miss uh, Antikahon. Okay, uh, your topic is about the adoption or adopting the automated Arduino based recycling bin reverse vending machine. And we have here your theory. We have the theory of waste management and the theory of plant uh, behavior. Okay. And let's go to your uh, uh, statement of the problem. This investigatory project okay, aims to adopt the automated Arduino. Uh, is, this Ar is this Redis Arduino? Yes, sir. Okay. Arduino-based recycling bin reverse vending machine to utilize the use they used pet bottles and recycled them. This study seeks to answer the following questions. What is the difference between does the reverse vending machine accept bottles? Is reverse vending machine durable with the amount of pet bottles that it may receive? Now, first question. Why did you include the theory of plant behavior? Ma, pwede na siya ma-apply sa first question, sir, nga. What is the difference between the ordinary recycling and the recycling with the vending machine, sir? Kay with that theory, sir, makabalume if unsa ang among tanawon sa reaction sa mga tao through both sa ordinary recycling and sa vending uh, recycling, sir. Sa theory of plant behavior. And sa theory of waste management, the answer is for the recycling itself, sir. Uh, okay, if I were to ask you uh, about the difference between different difference between an ordinary recycling machine and a recycling machine with a reverse vending, what is the difference between the two? I, sir, for ordinary recycling, I don't mean the machine mismo, sir, but kanang ordinary recycling, yun, sir, na kanang manually done by the people like ilang isegregate, ilang trash and stuff sir okay so what is the difference then between ordinary recycling and the recycling machine well the difference nila sir is a uh, reverse vending machine na a reward system which is for me basically mas satisfying siya buhaton kaysa sa ordinary recycling kay kasagara ba yag yun sa mga tao sir is dili kayo yung anak kaganahan mo buhat o mga buhatonan if wala siya reward 
and I think na kanang reverse vending machine na ang good siya well, it dispense niya ang kwarta nga ihatag if mag mag again, mag hatag ka og bottle sa machine which is, I think maganahan ng mga tao sir and kanang ma, ang enthusiasm nila is mutaas and mas maka mo increase ang recycled o mapadali ang pag-collect sa bottles. Alright, so you already have the answer for question number one. Do you think it's necessary to put this question in your research questions? Hi, okay sir. So we'll change na lang it uh, question na wala pa siya answer yet. Okay. Thank you so much uh, what, uh, for that uh, realization. Uh, great observation, Ms. Lewis. Okay. Uh, second thing. Let's see. Uh, your focus is basically on the project, if I'm not mistaken. Tama, no? Yes, sir. On, on the creation of this vending machine, reverse vending machine. Yes, sir. Machine. Okay, so we have to, uh, we have, uh, we have to clarify our focus. Okay, and since this is our focus, I I think there is no need to include the theory of planned behavior. Okay, sir. So, focus okay, nandito sa management sir. Sa project sa sa project mismo. Okay. We might uh, yeah, we didn't na sa mga kuan nga theory or on say theories of physics that would explain the process, pwede pa ta magbutang. Okay sir. Noted sir. Okay. Conceptual framework. So this is the sketch of your of how it may look like after it's being created. And you have here the schematic circuit, which I find it hard to explain because I don't, <laughs> I do not know. Kamo ra gidamaka explain ani. Anyway, uh, let's not uh, dig too much on it. The reverse vending machine is controlled by Arduino program to receive the pet bottles. Can what? What's this pet? PET bottle, by the way. Polyethylene, sir. Bale, scientific name sa plastic, basically, sir. Okay, okay. And drop sensor, discard bottles, receive the defense machine is equipped with a reward system. Okay. Great. Alright. So, ang ato ang kuana, ang ato lang yung research question, uh, ato lang ani is that we will. Uh, remove or omit the theory of planned behavior and uh, try to remake our research question according to what we really are trying to uh, find out. Okay, this is going to be a, a good question also. Dawat ba siya o mga broken or crushed? Is the vending machine durable with the amount of pet bottles you receive? All right. So aside sa one and sa ano sir theory of planned behavior wala na may la any change. Uh, yes, kato lang siya. Okay sir. All right, thank you so much. Now let's go to the next thank group. Thank you sir. Well, na pa i Okay, okay, okay. Let's go to the next group. Right, so we have here the performance task worksheet of the group of Mr. Pabualan. The extraction of Cisgium cuminae pigment as organic marker uh, or ink solvent extraction theory. Okay, the thing that they, they want to find out is that uh, gamito nila si Duhat. 
as an alternative for ink para sa markers. Um, question number one. We do not know how to answer this. Pero I think this is not necessary. Question number one. For a while. Theory. Solvent extraction theory. Let's go to your theoretical framework. This is correct. All right. Uh, Mr. Pabualan? Yes, sir. It, it says in your theory, the solvent extraction theory, the proponent is Ridge National Laboratory. And then I'm a little bit confused with it, what's in your theoretical framework because you have here Almario CDV 1998. So, ang proponent ani? Si Rich or si Almario? I swear, I swear, ang nag discover gid sa solvent extraction theory, sir, is si ang Red Sir. Kwan siya, sir, ka ng school siya, sir. Katapos ka na din si Almario, sir, kay study na siya, sir. Okay, uh, based on on your, uh, shall we say, research, wala nakita dito kung kinsang specific ng proponent, wala yung name sa tao from Ridge? Wala, sir. Yeah, wala, sir. Ang nakabotang na, sir, kay Ridge, sir. Okay. Hmm. Uh, kindly explain your schematic diagram. Can I answer? Uh, pwede mo ma-explain ang schematic diagram? Like, amo po, like, ang pwana na sir is, amo siya o na-i-gather ang mga materials sir, tapos, Amo i cancer i i crash ang ay, among panitan bira ang katong cancer ang duhat sir katong ripe na sir then amo din siya i cancer i crash sa mortar and pestle sir then magbutang din ni og cancer og water as water and acetone sir para makuha gito ang pigment sa duhat sir then amo din i i filter out ang cancer ang ang pigment sir then, amo din siya i, i ang kanakwa din pigment sir kaysa among i evaporate sir. Then, kwan din sir ang Excuse me, Mr. Pigment. Excuse me, Mr. Daniel. Uh, uh, that is the process of creating your your ink. Ang uh, the question is, pwede pa pwede ba ni mo uh, okay. explain kani imong schematic diagram na nasa screen karon? Okay, sir. Sir, is an uh, independent variable naman, sir, is ang amount of the pigment extracted from duhat, sir. Okay. Pag among i quanter i pag ang amount sa pigment, sir, is nakadepend sir, sir. Is our independent, sir, ang kwan ang ang pigment na duhat tapos among among mediating variable din sir kay ang um, consistency and opacity and absorption tapos ang dependent na mo sir is or ang organic ang result na sir kay ang ang organic 
mangids ang result na sir is nakadepende siya sa mediating variable na mo sir sa which is the consens- consistency opacity and absorption sir All right. Um, how did you identify the in, the dependent variable? Uh, like, are you sure that this is the dependent variable in your study? Um, yes, sir. Kaya ang, ang, ang result naman din, sir, tiga, na depend siya sa pigment sa mga ma-extract sa duhat, sir. Okay, you talked about the word result. The dependent variable is not the result, but it is the, vo- it is the part of your research that is being affected. It's not the result. Uh, nuggets ba, Mr. Daniel? Yes, because w- when we try to look at your schematic diagram, it shows that the consistency, opacity, and the, the absorption affects the ink. Na nakita ba? How it looks like, how it actually looks like? Yes, sir. So, makaapik to lugar? Maka-apekto si absorption, consistency, opacity sa organic marker ink? I think not. So let's try to, Kuana, let's try to, uh, tawag kami? Simplify. Ang independent variable as is, let us remove the mediating variable and change it to our dependent variable. So, and my then, uh, I'm sorry. Wala, sir. <laughs> okay. Uh, as is not as independent variable, and then wala o na tunig mediating. Kaning atong consistency o positive absorption, muna atong himong dependent variable. Pero before that, atong ibutang sa daan, for example, dependent variable, uh, quality, anak lang siguro. Because yet we, you have here in your, in your research question, you talk about the quality. Okay. The quality of your ink. Okay, so in the, again, uh, independent variable, amount of pigment, me, uh, dependent variable to the show, quality of the ink in terms of consistency, opacity, or absorption. Tana lang, duha lang ka boxes. Okay, and sir. There is no need to label. There is no need to label kay duha raman sila ka book. Okay. Okay, sure na kung asa si Aaron nag-point, it's obviously the dependent variable. So, kwaon na nila itong mga label, kaya duwara man sila ka-boxes. Unless niabot na sila tulo, ay harata mag, mag, mag-label ani. Okay. Uh, there would also be a change in your consistency opacity or based on the amount of pigment extracted. Organic ink, pigment duhat, would depend on the consistency. <laughs> Circular. Okay, tanawa in description. The consistency, opacity, and absorption are based on the amount of pigment extracted from the duhat the organic ink from the pigment of the duhat would depend on the consistency or in your ano in your language and placement and syntax first you talk about the consistency that is going to be uh where the uh, consistency, uh, which depends o- on the pigment. Pag abot na po din sa kanang kuan, in yung ang next nga sentence, si pigment na po, mura gibay, gibali ra ba? So, redundant. Redundant. 
So okay na tong kuan, okay na tong consistency opacity are based on the explain lang nato kung asa si asa ang dependent o independent ani. The consistency opacity and the absorption uh, uh, are based on the amount or the quality na lang siguro, the quality of the the ink in terms of consistency opacity and absorption uh, is based on Okay, and the pigment extracted from the duhat, which is the independent variable. And then there is no need to uh, write another sentence about it. All right. Now let's go to your statement of the problem. Again, it should be based on the presentation of the variables. There is no need to ask the question number one. Kwa si question number one. Question number two. Okay, question number two. Uh, sorry. Uh, wala na si question number one. Tapos, ilisa na to si question number one. Ang question number one should be according a descriptive question sa imo ang independent variable. Okay. A descriptive question about sa imo ang independent variable. Second question. Okay, as is. As is. Third question, remove. Fourth question, retain. Uh, take note, Mr. Pawalan. Yes, sir. Okay, again. Question number one, ilisdan. Ilisdan siya of descriptive question about the independent variable question number two retain question number three remove question number four retain billion when we say retain a billion no sir. okay okay and okay now let's go to the next group nai pangutana before we go to the next group So, amo lang bag o answer is ang katong, among schematic diagram, sir. So, bata na. So, duha na lang kabuk box ang mabilin. Yep, duha na lang kabuk box. Second box would be would become your dependent variable. There's no need, there is no need to label. Ang ato lang ibutang sulod sa box is the quality of the ink. Quality of the ink. In terms okay, of... Sir, no, third, sir. The opacity, absorption, what else? Uh, consistency. Okay. Then, mura to ato ang i-revise. I-revise pa rin na to si research question. It is na to si research question number one. Uh, ask a descriptive question about your... Um, or ask a question variable. about the independent variable. Okay, thank then, you, sir. Okay, is it what's going to be effective? Kuan siguro a a e medyo e kuan ng nato ni e rephrase lang nato ni atong question number two na you would be asking about the ink na dayon, the quality of the ink. Quality of the ink from ngagikan sa pigment sa duhat. Okay. Tapos, retain question number four, remove question number three. Kana lang. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay. Let's go to the next group. Um. All right. Next group will be the group of Miss Grizel. Voila. Let me check something.
Okay. The topic is changes of behavior from infant to adulthood of dogs based on its breed. And you have here the theory of classical conditioning by Ivan Pavlov. And we have here uh, your statement of the problem, which you want to identify the behavior of a specific breed of, of a dog. It's going to be a qualitative type of research. Excuse me for. Uh, okay. Question for the group of Miss Viola. Uh, why did you choose this study? Uh, do we have the group of Miss Viola with us? Let's see, we have her group mates. We have Miss Vidad, Miss Masiba, Miss uh, Mister, I guess, Mister Wenji. We have Gabule and Miss Viola. Okay, so why choose this topic? We've chose the topic, sir, because as I am, I also have dogs in our house, sir. Um, it's always come with my mind, sir, nga how, nang, nang what changes on their behaviors throughout their adulthood, sir. Ingan, sir. Right, so uh, how are you going to measure the behavior of these dogs? We're going to measure it by um, monitoring them, sir, and also, yes, sir, monitoring them, sir. Okay, uh, is this going to be a sequential or longitudinal study? Longi, sir. Ah, uh, so longitudinal so observahan gini ni hangtod sa mukuan. Ah, uh, one specific one specific nga dog. Si kung ang alan sa ato ang dog is si Naruto. Si Naruto ra gid ang ato ang kuan. Si Naruto ra gid ang ato ang observahan ang sa mundo ko. Okay? Ah, uh, uh, sa inyong title gibutang danhi changes in the behavior according to its breed. How many breeds of dog are you going to study? Two, sir. Two breeds of dogs. Uh, okay. Uh, let's consider that. Now, here's a thing. Question number one. How effective is it that the behavior of an infant dog changes it as it grows? What do you mean by this question? Ito na lang ta sa, ito na lang sa, ta sa ito ang <clears throat> uh, Before tama ito sa itong konsepto, let's go to our theoretical framework. You talked about uh, the uh, theory sir, of... Sir, with our theory, sir, na mali, nalimda na mag-edit, sir, na ang imbes Pablo among ibutang, sir. Ang sa first, sir. Ah, okay, okay. So, nalim, na, nalingahan og butang ang theory yes, ni Koani ah, Pavlov sa classical conditioning, okay? Yes, sir. Uh, understood, understood. Okay. 
um, different breeds of dogs, growth, infant to adulthood, and then the behavior. So, asa si independent ane? Ang different breeds of dogs, sir. Okay. Uh, so, si, de si dependent da yun si behavior. Now, karon unsa ni si growth? Nakuan si growth infant to adulthood. Unsa ni variable? Mediating variable, sir. Is this a mediating variable? Yes, sir. Kay kuan man ka ng moment siyang mag-explain sa process, sir. Uh, it's actually a moderating variable. Because when we say mediating variable, uh, dili na tayo na, dili na maka-apekto si breed sa behavior. Kina, si growth na lang dahil ng ating tanahon. Muna siyang nahimo siyang mediating variable. So, si mediating na lang dahil ang mahimo nga kuan nga basis sa atong dependent variable. So, this is a moderating variable. Okay, sir. Okay. Uh, wala lang na uh, i-label ha. Again, kay gilapas man taong tulog ka boxes, i-label na to. Okay, Tangan sir. Na label. It, sir. Para kung unsa man ganing ang iyong decision makabalot tadaan nga wala dai tay label sa chat okay balik ta sa atong kuan topic ah uh, so many what's this so ask questions according sa inyo ang presentation sa inyo ang variable kana na lang okay uh, once we we can correct this at least nakabalo na ta karon daan sa ato ang what's wrong with this Okay, nakabalo na tadaan sa ato ang um, variables. Then just ask questions sa ato ang mga kuan. Uh, ato ang research questions. Okay, what genetic factors influence? How do you? How are you going to measure the question number two? What genetic factors influence? How are you going to study the genes and genetic factors? All right. Uh, so I will give you time on uh, this question. This is actually a question that might be considerable. Uh, ako lang mong ipangutana kung saan ninyo pag-measure. Pag okay, so again, I modify lang na to ang ato ang research question according to, the, to our variables and ang ato ang theoretical framework. Okay, it should be according sa theory nga itong present and then just label the schematic diagram. Okay. okay, para dili ma para dili mo makuratan nga uh, friends ra day mo. Okay, wala day mo label. Okay, so uh, let's continue tomorrow. Uh, this is the last group by the way. We'll, we'll have uh, the continuation of our lessons or our topics tomorrow. Uh, we'll be talking about chapter 3. Ugon say uh, naa sa atong chapter 3 most especially the experimental. Okay, ang atong i-focus again is experimental. Ang ato ang mga non-experimental o ang ato ang mga qualitative is going to be a challenge for you. Basta kay, uh, I warned, <laughs> everyone in the beginning ang mag-focus sa experimental. Nga topic, nga inyong sa inyong PT, kay experimental ang atong discussions. Okay, so kana lang, let's have our closing prayer. Miss Lewis, are you... Uh, still the prayer leader for the closing prayer? Ah, yes. Or we have a different...
Mag, so gano'n ko, sir. Ah, uh, yes. Okay, sir. So, for those who are Catholic, please do the sign of the cross in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and never shall be world without end. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much, Miss Lewis, in giving the closing prayer, and thank you, everybody, for coming here today, and for listening the corrections and uh, the justifications of your classmates. Okay, so see you guys tomorrow, the same time. We'll be uh, we'll continue once again uh, our uh, topics for chapter three. All right. So goodbye, everyone. God bless you all. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Bye, sir. Goodbye, sir. Thank you, sir. All right. Bye-bye. God bless.